Looking down from space, the Bakken Formation in western North Dakota shines like a city. Flares from thousands of oil wells light up the night sky. Ceres and NOAA scientists are flying a small aircraft over the Bakken, taking measurements to better understand the atmospheric impacts of the oil activity. Because the Bakken Formation is in a rural region and they regularly flare the excess natural gas, a team of scientists are eager to measure and understand its effects on the atmosphere and air quality. Uh, we'll be taking this aircraft to the uh, North Dakota region that's characterized by a lot of drilling and flaring of natural gas. It's the Bakken oil fields in North Dakota. Uh, we'll be going there first to evaluate the emissions in the atmosphere of methane itself and the things that come from methane when it's burned in these flares. So carbon dioxide, CO2, carbon monoxide, CO, and also black carbon soot in the atmosphere. From the air that allows us to measure kind of an integrated some of the emissions from that area, from that region, and we can measure it for hundreds of miles, and we can measure it from fairly close to the ground up through the top of the planetary boundary layer. I'd say it's something we, you know, we don't know what and how much of anything is coming from this region, and so when you start with a basically a complete unknown, then until you get an answer, it's, it's exciting. Maybe the answer is not very exciting, but at least we've, we've done that. Oil production is sort of an, unkno an unknown in terms of what its contribution is to the greenhouse gas budget or to the air quality of a, of a given region. And this is a very intensive region, and so it gives us a really good opportunity to sort of explore that space. You know, what's the cost of, of burning all this energy, potential energy, uh, you know, in terms of the global greenhouse budget and you know, trying to assess that sort of impact. 